Stunning stats are coming to light about the election results in Arizona. Listen. Tells us is that this demographic distribution of allocation of uh, uh, party party affiliations is what can generate this. And I find it highly implausible because this means that Mr. Biden got 130 percent of Democrat voters and negative 30 percent and, and uh, President Trump uh, got negative 30 percent. So if Biden got 100 votes and his went up by 1.3, which means it took 30 percent of the votes uh, were reduced, that would go to President Trump. So basically, votes are being eaten uh, from President Trump and handed over to Mr. Biden. That data was presented by mathematician and MIT scientist Dr. Shiva Ayodori during an election integrity hearing in the Copper State. The eyebrow-raising info comes on the heels of Governor Doug Ducey certifying the election results for Joe Biden. Just as a reminder, Newsmax has not called the election for either candidate. So is the data that we just showed you enough to cast out on the election results in that state, in Arizona? Joining us now to discuss is his research is Dr. Shiva Ayodori. Joining us live, Dr. Shiva, good to see you. Um, when you hear that, it, it kind of takes your breath away for a second to, to hear something like that, especially from someone from MIT like yourself, highly accomplished the Trump campaign, relying on your research to help. Do you feel that the data you've uncovered is enough to back up the president's claims of voter fraud? Well, I think one of the most important things people need to understand is that the electronic voting systems, and this goes back to earliest 2002, which is documented, these electronic voting systems have a capability called a weighted race feature, which means we don't have one person, one vote. They have the capability to multiply an individual's vote, vote by a factor, a decimal factor. So the observations that we uncovered in that graph that you saw was we ran through many, many, many hundreds of thousands of simulations. The only way to recreate the results between President Trump and Mr. Biden was where you saw this 130 percent Democrat and negative 30 percent, 130 percent going to Mr. Biden, negative 30 percent uh, going to President Trump. It's completely implausible. We've noticed the same phenomenon in Georgia, where I submitted an affidavit uh, for Sidney Powell and Lynn Wood in their lawsuit, where we showed another factor of 1.22. Uh, basically, factors are being used, in my opinion, and the software of these systems allows this capability. And this is what I believe is really should be the focus of anyone left or right who's interested in election integrity. Why do these software systems have the capability to factor our vote so we don't get one person, one vote? Without losing the audience, I, I, this, is a, this is a tough um, ticky-tack situation, if you will, because there's so much data that goes into this. But how did you come to these conclusions? Did you just simply take the results from, um, from the state's election board that night and, and, and look at the numbers? How did you get to that, the 30 percent taken from Trump? Well, one of the things is, you know, I've been doing pattern recognition all my life for nearly 50 years. And it's a very, very wonderful field. And what we did in this case is we literally took the actual data reported by the Secretary of State of Arizona, and we recreated the election by actually looking at the number of votes tabulated from the smallest precinct, lowest number of votes to the highest precinct. And that curve that you saw is literally the exact recreation of votes as you go from the lowest precinct to the highest precinct, and you end up with the numbers. And it matches exactly with what the Secretary of State reported. Now. If you say, how do you produce that exact pattern of that curve, let's start adding in the allocation of Democrats, the allocation of Republicans, the allocation of independents, libertarians, and greens, all different variations of percentages, because there is a variation of those percentages of people came to those precincts. And the only way we were able to fit that curve perfectly was when we came to 130 percent Democrats and negative 30 percent uh, 130 percent Democrats for Mr. Biden, negative 30 percent for uh, for Mr. Uh, for President Trump, which is not only implausible, but it points to the fact there's two ways this could have occurred. One is that we missed in our analysis some set of independents, or that one for every one vote Mr. Biden got, he actually got 1.3 votes, and 30 percent of votes were eaten by uh, from President Trump and given to Biden. That's the only plausible explanation. And remember. 
Uh, the curves fit so beautifully. I've never seen anything like this in the many, many decades that I've done this kind of research where you get such a perfect fit, which means that this percentage of allocation of Democrats, Republicans, independents is the only way that we could fit that. And those numbers are highly, highly implausible, unless we've missed something. Okay, and so you take that information, irregular pattern there, you, you create an affidavit, you give an affidavit, right, in, in Arizona and Georgia. Those are the two states you've given affidavits. Is that correct, based on what you found? Yeah, and also I filed an affidavit here in Massachusetts. The way I got involved in this is I was also a U.S. Senate candidate in the Republican primary, and we found out in Massachusetts, I've just filed a, what I believe will be a historic affidavit, which says that my votes were multiplied by 0.666, interesting enough, and my opponents were escalated by 1.2. And again, why do these features exist? When I found out that this feature of the weighted race feature exists in these voting systems, it was quite amazing because we, this country was built on one person, one vote. And you know, the famous uh, three-fifths compromise that we studied in history, the famous Dred Scott case, and then the famous ruling by Judge Earl Warren was to clarify, particularly Judge Warren's ruling, that we're supposed to be a land of one person, one vote. In the 21st century of these electronic voting systems, which, by the way, I believe should be completely outlawed, we don't have one person, one vote. That's where we're at today in America in the 21st century. What do you make of the mainstream media being very critical of your report? Well, they're welcome to call me. Everything is transparent. You know, uh, have them call me. None of them have contacted me. This is basically mathematics. I've made it clear that if we've missed anything, we'll put that into our formulation. So we're very transparent here. Yeah. Unfortunately, the mainstream media, I believe, uh, is in collusion with the powers that be. You just saw Attorney General Barr, who should be taking this up. You know, the, the basic USC codes, 20701 and 20702, are being violated because these secretaries of state are destroying ballot images, which are the evidence that would show that this weighted race feature was on. So they're concealing the fact by turning on features which destroy ballot images, which are the evidence that links the weighted race feature if it's on to uh, you know the, the actual ballots cast. So I find it quite incredible that the federal, the the Department of Justice is not enforcing a very fundamental law, which is the secretaries of state. And the state election directors should be saving the ballot images. And they destroy them, which means that you don't have the chain of custody to show that the weighted race feature was turned on. So it's quite a clever mechanism, unfortunately, if what I'm saying is true, uh, for what's taking place at the state level. Well, we appreciate your work, sir, and I appreciate you coming on the show just to simply share this with us. Uh, that is Dr. Shiva Ayodori. Thank you for your time. Thank you. Be well.